kumain ng showbiz ang pagpatay kay Nida Blanca noong November 2001. And the whole industry is shocked because he's such a nice lady. Twenty years have passed since the gruesome death of veteran actress Nita Blanca on November 7, 2001. Her body was discovered in the back seat of her car at the car park of a building in San Juan City. Nita, then 65, bore numerous stab wounds on different parts of her body. Her untimely death was a shock to many, and finding the culprit who murdered her has been marred with mysteries. A girl named Dorothy. Born Dorothy Jones, Nita hailed from Gopan, Nueva Ecija, and was the daughter of a Filipino mother, Enocencia Aquisa, and an American soldier named John William Jones II. She was born on January 6, 1936. Nita was discovered by Delia Razan, a former movie queen, and appeared in her first film when she was just 14. Delia was the one who convinced the owner of LVN Pictures, Dona Sisong de Leon, to get Nita to become a movie star. LVN Pictures used to be the biggest film production in the Philippines after World War II. Since Nita was half Caucasian, her skin was so fair that Dona Sisong gave her the screen name Blanca for her surname. Blanca is a Spanish word for white. Nita was best known as a leading lady material and was partnered with popular leading men starting in the 1950s. But it was her team up with actor Nestor de Villa that became a huge hit. She also became a household name because of her role as Marsha in the hit TV series John and Marsha, opposite comedy king Dolphy, who portrayed John Purintong, the ideal but funny patriarch in the TV series that lasted for 17 years and spawned movie versions. She made more than 200 movies in her six decades in showbiz. Nita was first married to Victorino Torres, with whom she had a daughter, Catherine K. Torres. However, the actress marriage with Victorino did not last long and the two separated when their daughter was just two years old. Nita then went on to marry Rod Lauren Strunk in 1979. Rod was an American singer and actor. The Death of Nita On November 7, 2001, the Philippines was jolted with the report that the veteran actress was found dead in the back seat of her car on the sixth floor parking lot of Atlanta Center. Her body bore 13 stab wounds, but the fatal blow was the stab on her neck that pierced the larynx. She also suffered hematoma in her right eye and two broken ribs. While Nita's death was undoubtedly controversial, the case that followed was a murder mystery so much so that it spawned different theories as to who killed her and why, in the January-February 2002 issue Yes. Magazine, a special report was written titled Murder Mystery, Nita Blanca. The report was written a couple of months after Nita's death, the article centered on the four theories that hounded the mystery behind Nita's murder. Rod Strunk, mastermind or fall guy, in the first theory, Nita's husband, Rod, was at the center, was he the mastermind or just the fall guy? The theory said that Nita's husband was so upset with his wife because she wrote him out of her will, Nita allegedly left all her property to her daughter Kay. The theory went to say that when Rod failed to persuade Nita to produce the will, the husband hired a professional killer. It was also said that they had a shaky marriage and that Rod supposedly had an affair. It went on to say that Nita was also a battered wife. Among the theories, this was the one that Task Force Marcia, the body created by the Philippine National Police that investigated Nita's murder, sold to the public, and which the majority of the public believed, but there were some personalities that did not buy this, one of them was veteran radio announcer and host, the late Indy Badaday. In the Yes! magazine report, Indy said that it did not add up that Rod, being pointed as a primary suspect, was still living in the house with Nita's other family members. Furthermore, Indy reasoned out that if Nita was indeed a battered wife, one of her friends would have known and would have revealed it. The report also quoted the observation of a veteran ABS-CBN reporter, who was not convinced that Rod did it. The reporter was quoted as saying, I admit, after covering the story for how many days, that I am sympathetic. So analysis ko sa kanya, small mind lang siya, 
Mababaw ang kaligayahan, he's not capable of masterminding something as grand as this. Philip Metal, in the second theory, exactly 13 days after Nita's death, Task Force Marsha organized a press conference and a man dressed in all black, Philip Metal, appeared at the conference and declared that he was the killer. He said that he was a professional killer hired by a middleman, Mike Martinez, and was paid PHP 50-000 to do the job. Metal explained that he didn't know his target was the veteran actress and that his conscience could not bear it when he found out that his victim was Nita, but after four days, he took back what he said, he revealed at the Department of Justice that he was forced to take the blame because he was allegedly tortured. He also said in his next interviews that the PNP had rubbed out the middleman, Martinez, but Martinez's family announced that he was missing and that he had not been found, according to the Yes article, but Senator Panfilo Laxon found Metal's credibility questionable. Laxon's gut feel was supported by a TV reporter who covered the entertainment beat. The reporter was quoted by Yes as saying, Wala akong tiwala kay Medel, may sinabi kasi siya sa correspondents na tumatak talaga sa akin, sabi niya, I'm here to mislead. And that's precisely what he is doing, sa tingin ko. Money issue, in the third theory, things were more complicated. The theory went to say that Nita was involved with a big-time politician. The theory said that the said politician entrusted Nita with a huge amount of money, while the politician had to deal with a pending case. The theory elaborated that Nita wanted to return the money to the politician but that there had been greedy parties stopping her from doing so, since the politician was out of power. Another version of this theory said Nita no longer wanted to return the money, so the politician's people said she had to be taught a lesson, but some questioned this theory, including Elena de la Paz, Nita's longtime secretary. Walang pera si Nita lately. Inutang pa nga niya nitong nakaraan ang pension ni Rod, the secretary said. The casino theory The fourth theory allegedly involved an underworld network of hitmen and retired generals enforcing order at a certain casino. The theory said that a group of people were running the money lending business in the casino. It went on to say that from a PHP 2 million capital, it grew to PHP 100 million and that the point person in the group was a former movie star who lived in Forbes Park. The Yes Special Report wrote The casino theory The fourth theory allegedly involved an underworld network of hitmen and retired generals enforcing order at a certain casino. The theory said that a group of people were running the money lending business in the casino. It went on to say that from a PHP 2 million capital, it grew to PHP 100 million and that the point person in the group was a former movie star who lived in Forbes Park. The Yes Special Report wrote. Another version of this theory was that Nita was not just a friend of the Forbes star, but was a partner and had money in the pot, according to the Yes Special Report. The theory also said that when the Forbes Park movie star died, Nita became the only person who knew who were on the list. And that compromised Nita's situation, however, some frown upon this theory because it gave Nita a bad name. The report went on to say that those who knew Nita saw her as a lady who lived a simple life, and that she did not go around like she was cradling a huge secret who would always look over her shoulder. They argued that if she was indeed involved in that shady business, she could not have been soft and easy. Strunk's death, six years after the death of Nita Blanca, Rod Strunk reportedly committed suicide when he fell from a hotel balcony 20 feet high. He was 68, the authorities reported it appeared to be suicide and they found evidence in his room that indicated Strunk took his own life, Strunk was staying at the Tracy Inn in California, U.S.A. In July 2002, Strunk was charged by the National Bureau of Investigation as the mastermind of Nita's murder, but he managed to leave for the U.S. five months earlier before being charged. The other suspect, Philip Metal, died of sepsis secondary to pneumonia at the Pasig General Hospital in April 2010. Now, 
17 years after Nita's murder, the public still has no clue as to who killed her.